Yum, yum. William Vaughn here with a brief look at Shader Tree basics and Modo. In this video, we'll take advantage of a few of the options available in the Shader Tree to create a watermelon texture. Start by adding an iris texture layer and adjusting the texture locator size. Next, adjust the number of rays to your liking. For this example, I'll use a value of four. Increase the lower clip attribute to increase the contrast, and then change the background and foreground colors to your liking. The streaks are too perfect for my liking, so add a multi-fractal layer, drag it below the iris layer, and then change its layer effect to texture offset. In order for this offset layer to be applied to the iris layer, we need to increase the texture offset strength attribute for the iris layer. We can continue to add as many layers as we'd like to add additional details to the texture. So placing an additional multi-fractal texture above the iris layer and setting its background alpha attribute to zero will allow the iris layer to show through with the foreground of the multi-fractal texture appearing on top. There are many layer effects we can take advantage of. For example, if you add a crumpled texture layer, adjust its scale and opacity, and set its layer effect to bump, you can break up the smooth surface of the melon to give it a more natural look. Continue to experiment with the enhanced moto textures as well as the various layer effects to get more comfortable with what's available. Oh, look at the time. <laughs>